everyone. I'm Nicole Spirit. This is Puppy Finn. And I thought we'd get him in the shot. Sit, lie down. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go upstairs, but I thought you'd wanna see Puppy Finn today. So welcome, thank you for coming. Today is a really fun class, yoga for everybody. <clears throat> yoga for everybody. So however you pronounce it. Thanks Finn. Um, it's gonna be a super awesome class. So we wanted to honor the five elements today. This is how I really thought we could honor and appreciate our own five elements. So we've got earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. So wherever you are, please get into a comfortable position. We're gonna sit on our yoga mat and we're going to get started for a simple and fun class that's just gonna make you feel better, period. <laughs> so wherever you are, please take Sukhasana. That's easy pose. And for you, that's the most comfortable seated position. <clears throat> Get those out of the way. And we're just gonna sit cross-legged. So come into a comfortable seat, bring your sitting bones back, <clears throat> come into a nice tall spine, hands on the knees, and let's just find a soft, easy movement with our neck. We're bringing our chin forward on the inhale, and then just gently lifting the head and neck up and back. So kind of an exaggerated yes motion, and right away, you're gonna check into your breath. How is your breathing going today? Let's do one more, and then we're gonna to come to center. And then we're gonna bring our ear to the right shoulder. So right ear to the right shoulder. Just gently let your hands sink down onto the knees. Hopefully you've got a little inner smile that you've just lit. And then we're gonna lift the head and bring the left ear to the left shoulder. So just hang out and breathe here. See if you can keep your spine nice and tall, the sitting bones are plugged in and rooted down, and you're just in a nice, easy, comfortable position. One more time each way. Good, inner smile, inner Buddha nature, or enlightened mind. Bring yourself back to center, and then we're just gonna dip our, uh, <laughs> bring our toe, uh, nose to the right. Inhale, bring your nose over to the right, so you're looking over your right shoulder. And then pause, come back to center, big breath, and then look over the left shoulder. Good, open up the neck, seeing how you feel. Come back to center, and let's just take our arms and big breath, bring them up. And then exhale, fan the world, fan the aura, and just bring the arms down. Let's do three more. I wore my owl shirt for Owl Always Love You, my favorite bumper sticker that my husband and I saw the year we were getting married. One more, big ha breath if you're feeling it. <sighs> On the exhale, good. And then we're gonna pause, hang out here, take a moment and stretch your right leg out long. So bring your right leg to the ground, make sure you're still sitting with a nice supported spine, try not to collapse. Find that nice expression of your heart being open, your leg being extended, and we're just gonna do a nice little side bend. So take your right arm, reach it over your right leg, big inhale breath, and then exhale, take that right arm up and over. If it's available, then reaching out towards your toes. You can take your peace fingers around your big toes, or you can keep the knee bent. One more breath where we reach over and we squeeze into the liver side of the body, releasing any stored anger and frustration. Good, then we come back up with a nice breath, and then we're gonna release the arms down. This feels really good, so bring your chest forwards towards your right extended leg, bring your shoulders over so that you're now facing down. Tall inhale on the spine, tall spine on the inhale, and then walk your hands forward on the exhale. Same thing, you can bend the knee and just notice that your bend is slightly different now. Nice tall spine with the inhale breath and exhale, bring your whole heart and chest forwards. Try not to collapse in the head. Good, and then just gently walk your hands back. Bring your chest back to center, find that courage and openness in your beautiful Anahata heart chakra and then we'll bring the right leg forwards and think about a fun little statement. So right leg floats in, left leg floats out. So a little bumper sticker, a little encouragement for you today. And you can borrow or have I Will Always Love You or you can find a new one that you like. Another one I really like, left arm over left leg, is today's a good day to have a good day. 
Take your right arm up now, big inhale breath, and exhale, it's a lateral bend. We're gonna squeeze right into the side body, which is where our stomach and our spleen live. We're gonna help to release any stored uh, worry, nervous energy, Stand, uh, sit back up, and we're gonna replace it with good recreation, good creative energy, finding our good and positive hobbies. Good, lift back up, lower your arms down, Big breath and then exhale, bring your shoulders so that they're facing towards that left leg. Remember, you can always bend the knee a little bit. Find that inner smile, that inner light, raise your arms up, big breath on the exhale, bring your belly in towards your spine and bring your arms forwards. You can always bind your peace fingers around your big toe. And there's the acupressure point right in the middle, reflexology point right in the middle of your big toe that relates to your pituitary gland and it gives you a little burst of joy. Last breath, bent knee if possible or if needed, whatever works. And then we're gently going to walk our hands back up. Good. Let's take the other leg, the left leg in front now. And this is a super nice thing to do, just bringing ourselves into a forward fold. So take your feet and ankles a little bit away from the center line of your body, and then we're gonna gently just bring our chest forward. So use your hands as a guide. Inhale again, tall spine. Exhale, walk your hands forwards. This is meant to feel really nice. This is meant to allow you to just soothe your breath, see how you're feeling, and you're gonna get a big opening in whichever leg is forwards. So today's class honoring the five elements there's earth element and that's your body. Let's start to walk our hands back up. See how you can lengthen the spine. Bring your shoulders up and on an exhale, lift up and roll your shoulders back down. Then you switch the feet. Go ahead and lift them up. Switch so the other foot is in front. And then again, we're gonna open up the right side or the side whichever your leg is forwards. Tall spine, inhale, soft face. And then exhale, bring your heart forwards. So we honor the five elements. Earth element is our body, and that's when we do physical things like yoga or play instruments or write or read or just go for a walk, doing all that magic. Then we're gonna gently come up again, take all the time you need, pause part way, breathe right into that hip. This is finding balance in your sun and your moon, your ha and your tha your yin and yang. Let's come back to center. And our next element we're gonna honor is our breath. So if this is comfortable, stay here. If you need to, you can always transfer to the couch or a chair and just change your seated position. We're going to do a breath um, that's amazing and invigorating. It's called breath of fire. And this breath is to re-oxygenate or put super amounts of oxygen into our body which forces any toxins or even toxic thoughts out. So we start by doing it with our arms extended long and we're going to roll the fingers in and the thumbs are going to stay up. This is option one. If you want to do option two, we bring the arms up, watch your shoulders, don't hike up to the ears. We're going to drop our shoulders down and keep our thumbs out. So if you've never done this breath, start by trying it with your mouth or tongue extended, so your mouth open. Big inhale breath, stick the tongue out, and we pant like a little puppy, if they're willing to be in our shot. If you've done this breath before and you know it well, keep your mouth closed. Inhale to start, and pump. Too much, keep the arms down. Ten seconds, you can do it. Good. Release your arms, wet your mouth, see how you're feeling, and just normalize your breath. And we're paying attention to our air element now. When we rejuvenate our five elements, we rejuvenate our whole body like an immortal yogi. Good, so that was the breath element. We're gonna do one more breathing or pranayama technique. Um, if you felt like that breath was really invigorating, that's super wonderful. 
Now we're going to do a breath technique that just calms you down. It's called square breathing. You can't really do it wrong. The thing I really want to emphasize is that you want to be taking conscious breaths throughout your day. If you get stressed, notice how you're breathing and if the pattern is yucky poopy, then we want to come into say an anti-anxiety breath or a calming breath like four square breathing. So we inhale to a count of four, we pause for a count of four, then exhale for four. At the end of the breath, nothing happens. Wait for four more counts. Then we do it again. Inhale for four, pause for four, exhale for four, pause again for four. Let's do it one more time. You go with your own count now. And I should mention, you can do this with the intervals getting longer. So now maybe you've gone to five, or if you're doing this throughout your day, you can increase the intervals. They say a true yogi takes one full breath for their life. Good, that was my last pause for four, and now we're gonna resume a nice, normal, smooth breathing technique. Just a side note, if you take that inhale breath, for 15 counts, pause for 15, exhale 15. At the end, pause for 15. You've got a one minute yoga breath. Don't try it till you've practiced and warmed up to it. Good. Let's go into a beautiful fire element now. Wherever you are seated, let's come off of our seat and we're gonna arrive on our hands and our knees and we're gonna take our core energy and light it up like there's a fire in the belly. So hands are gonna be right under your shoulders Curl the toes, lift the knees now, and we're gonna hover. So this is like a little position that's similar to plank. I want you to breathe and hover in your belly and feel that warmth and that light invigorate your core. Good, and then lower your knees down. Let's sink into a child's pose. This is for everybody. So bring your buttocks down, keep your arms reaching forwards and you can lower down through the upper body or you can always stack the fists. And the nice thing to do here is just put a little bit of pressure on your forehead or third eye chakra, Ajna, known as the all-seeing, all-knowing, inner, higher self, your wisdom, your inner intuition and insight. One more breath here, wherever you are, honoring your inner child, remembering to do something fun and jovial, like a little kid every single day. Good. And then we're going to gently arrive back onto all fours. So make sure you're comfortable here. You're gripping a little bit with your fingers and you're pushing the ground away and you're getting that light in the core of the belly. We're gonna do just one more thing to activate our fire element. So we're going to lift the spine and round the spine as though we're in cat pose. And then on the cow pose part where we bring the belly down, we're gonna extend the leg long and we're gonna take our left arm, sorry, our right leg is long and our left arm is out in front, good. And then we're gonna round the spine and we're gonna draw our knee to our elbow. Big inhale, lengthen the spine and lengthen the arm and leg. Exhale, use your core, your powerhouse, and draw your knee and your elbow together. Let's do two more. You can also take the variation of sunbird where you just hold the arm and the leg, or you can do the dynamic or moving version. Good, pause and just give your ankle and your wrist a little rotation. Good, and then we're gonna come back to all fours. Let's do the other side. Big inhale, breath, and then we're gonna send our left leg long, our right leg, our right arm in front. That's our inhale. Exhale, draw your elbow to your knee, round spine. Inhale, lengthen, smile. Yes, find that grit, that inner fire. They say if we gaze at a flame or a fire every day, we light up our own inner fire element. Let's do two more. Remember, you can always take the option where you pause, Feel that nice expression, and then the exhale, maybe you move. Last one, and then we're gonna remember just to hold for one moment, let your wrist and ankle rotate, 
So you can go in the same direction and then gently lower it down. That's wonderful. Now we're going to think about bringing our feet underneath us. So take your time as you walk your feet underneath you. Keep the breath nice and smooth and deep. And then we're going to consider our water element. So we're slowly going to lift up through the back side of the body. And then we're gently going to dangle. But as we do, we're going to start to stand up. And we're going to find that amazing fluidity of our own body. So however you chose to get up, come into your standing position, lift through the toes, and we're going to find our Tadasana. So you can just lower the toes down, pause in standing. Let's hold for one more breath, finding our inner serenity. The top half is the sky, the bottom half is the mountain, and you're grounded and rooted. And just like any wise yogi or Buddha, you never take sides, you remain equanimous in the middle. And the worst thing that can happen, you just say, Nicole loves me, because I will always love you. <laughs> All right, let's do lateral bend, mostly because it feels so good. And again, it's very fluid. So we're gonna bring our arms up overhead, and we're just gonna gently tip over to the right side. You can clasp your fingers together. You can take temple mudra, that's where your thumb and your index are pointing up. And again, find that light in the middle of your body. You don't just let it all hang out. Find that nice expression, get into that nice half moon shape. One more breath here and squeeze into the right side of the body, helping to release some of your magic, your wisdom from your yang side, your sun side. Let's come back to center, big inhale, check your shoulders, drop them down. Exhale, we'll float to the left. So finding fluidity, finding our water element. They say whatever you put after the words I am, you can attach it to the water crystals, the particles in your body. I am love, I am loving kindness. One more to the side, good. And if you're interested in this, you can follow the work of Dr. Masur Emoto. And he's the one that wrote the book, The Hidden Messages in Water and many others. Let's come back up to center. Big breath and then exhale, we're gonna release the arms down. Finding fluidity, we're gonna do our standing palm tree and then we're gonna make our way to the floor. So bend your knees just a little bit. Palm tree means Tamara, or that's the name Tamara. Good, one of my bestest friends in all lifetimes. So shout out to the palm tree. Big breath, reach your arms out. Inhale forwards. Exhale, gently stand back up. Hands can come to the low back. Nice little back bend on your exhale. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. And when you come back, you might notice the water element of your kidneys right up against the back side of the body where your ribs are. Let's do two more. And as much as you can, find that little inner vacation, that inner light in your day. Good. Where you maybe go and chill out with the palm trees. You take a nap or go for a walk. Today it's pouring rain and you call it blessing rains. Good. Come back to center and we're just going to slowly go and make our way down to the floor. So find something that feels like a nice way to come down. If available, don't use your hands. And then we're gonna extend the legs out long in front of us. Last two elements to pay attention to. Yes. What are they? <laughs> so we've done earth, we've done air, we've done fire, we've talked about water, there's only one last element to talk about, and it's spirit. So good, wherever you are, if you lowered yourself to the ground, that's wonderful. You can keep the knees up. And we wanna tune into spirit element here. So one cool way to do it is to pump our belly and get all of the different organs, releasing whatever kind of different emotional states that they carry. So let's draw the knees in. We're gonna give ourselves a nice hug in Pavan Muktasana. And then we're going to take our hands and extend them long. So inhale and reach long. Good. And exhale and draw back to center. Let's do three more. Inhale, double leg and arm stretch. Exhale, you reach. 
I want you to think right now about how greatly loved you are. And I want you to think about all the different phases of life and how right now maybe you've been tested to see if you really have faith in this whole process. So wherever you are, lower your head to the floor. Let's keep the knees in and up at the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. This squeezes into digestive organs and helps with any indigestion as well. You can do this before you get out of bed. Then the nice thing to finish off with is just to release our arms and we're gonna do some circles with the knees. So just giving the base of your spine a nice massage, visualizing, imagining energy floating up the spine, bathing your brain, and then energy floating down your spine and bathing your sacrum, this bone that you're massaging. Imagine being an animal, we used to have a tail, and now we don't have a tail anymore, we have this sacrum area, our sacred bone, our secret. Good, come back to center, pause, and then let's go the other way. So I want you to think about your inner secret, think about your inner smile, and even though there's so many things causing us possible fear or frustration, that we will choose love, that we will find our self-love, We'll find the secret from the inside out. And at the very least, at the very least, I will always love you. Good. Last two circles. So yoga for everybody. <laughs> a request of my mom. And what a wonderful mom I have. So shout out to your mom. Doesn't matter what mom you have. Give them a shout out of love and thanks. They brought you here, and maybe you even call your mom today. And if she's on the other side, maybe you write her a letter, or maybe you just send her some positivity. In Buddhism, they say, just send people love and thoughts of good health and happiness, whether they're alive or on the other side. Excellent. Let's release the legs now. Let's bring our legs down to the floor and we're going to finish off making an energy healing ball for our own self today. And this also transfers to your body being the earth, so the earth for sure will get this. So bring your hands up and rub, rub, rub. Smile, soften your face. I know it's a little dark in here today, but the blessing rains are happening. So I want you to think about something in your life that seems like a problem or a challenge. And I want you to see if you can turn that around now. So rub your hands together and then gently pause. We're going to open and close our hands towards each other very slowly. And we're going to imagine light and energy between our hands. And maybe we even feel a bit of a magnetic pulse as though our hands are pushing away from each other. So use your visualization as though this ball of energy is the most healing ball of light for you at this time. And in this ball that contains all of the unseen factors, like you've been given your puzzle in life, but about half of it was missing. And then you had to go about your life so that you had to find all the pieces. And all of those pieces are in this hologram. They're in this key or chi or prana or mana ball of love and healing. And then visualize bringing this ball towards your body and bring it towards your heart, anahata, your beautiful compassion and love heart center. And let this ball hover above you. And then use your imagination, your visualization to sense and feel this love and then infuse your hands onto your body. And infuse this ball into your heart. And imagine that all of this love and healing is vibrating in every cell of your body. Again, like we're working with a hologram of you. So there's like a crystal ball and you're inside and everything that happens as far as healing, if it happens to your baby toe or it happens to your heart or it happens to your nose, it's all within the same sphere and in the quantum sphere in your hologram, in the holographic universe, all is healed instantly to your original blueprint. So see if you can visualize being innocent 
deciding to come to earth, being invited to earth, and having this beautiful human experience. And I love the reminder the word hue means light, and the word man means mind. So the human means light-minded person. And we rejuvenate our whole body, our five elements, by paying attention to them every day. So take a few deep breaths now, be in your own meditation or use the sound of my voice. You can be lying down on a yoga mat, on a bed, in a hammock, anywhere that you're comfortable to renew and rejuvenate your five elements to become the most beautiful, immortal yogi you can picture. This comes from my favorite book, called Breaking the Death Habit, The Science of Everlasting Life by Leonard Orr. Let's take a couple moments, rejuvenate your earth element now, promise your body you'll love it and take care of it physically for this lifetime. And then take a couple of moments to imagine the air that you're breathing. Notice the air around you. And this is a great grounding technique, just taking a few deep breaths. Ask the air to remind your body of fluidity and joy. And of course, then we float into our water element. And we think about water and how clever it is that it can be air as well. It can be gaseous or vapor. So imagine your body as now liquid water, and I want you to attach the word, something, the most positive word, I am, to your water particles in your body. And in the holographic, beautiful quantum world, your body is instantly that loving kindness or whatever you chose. Next element, fire element. Sometime today, light a candle if you haven't already and gaze into that candle. And for now, using this element of our meditation, using the thought of being in this beautiful purpley light for healing, as though you are in a purple flame of immortality. And then the last element, so sacred, so beautiful, our spirit element. So remember inspiration. And think about a way that you connect to something divine today, something a little out of your ego or out of your own negative mind state. See if we can find something that enlightens us, causes us to feel joy and divinity. And the best way to feel joy is to just count your blessings. Find gratitude even for the most simple things. And this is me sending my gratitude to you, my Nicole spirit element, thanking you for being part of yoga for everybody. So take a couple of moments. You can pause the video and chill out in Shavasana for the rest of the day or the night. And when you're ready, let's start to float back into our body. We'll wiggle our fingers and toes, and we're gonna bring the hands together in front of the heart. And we keep the eyes closed. Visualize having an amazing day, having a wonderful sleep tonight, absolutely incredible deep rest. Even the puppies will sleep all night tonight. And we dedicate the merits of our practice to all sentient beings. May all beings be relieved of their suffering, and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste.